Zakatali, an economist, said in 2015, we are running straight rates throughout the world war, the water war. So this little gesture I just did might not be possible again in 20 years. Instead, our behavior toward war will change. The water war is going to appear. Indeed, in 20 years, uh, the demand in fresh water will be 40% up to the, to the author. Everybody in this class is concerned by this problem because in 20 years we will all have children and we have to find solutions to help us and the future generation, generation to survive. <coughs> Drinking water is less and less available on Earth because the resources decrease every day. So I would like to share with you how drinking, drinking water started to disappear. Water is essential to the human survival and producing water is, is a, an, important, an important problem because the consequences are huge. Water is essential in three areas. First, in the human consumption and then in the agriculture. Let's take an example. Um, According to the book, to the book um, Water, Agriculture and Food in 2004, to give you an idea, a single <coughs> liter of water corresponds to a shower of one hour. And to produce two, pound, two pounds of fleas, we need a thousand liters of water. Twice for rice and between six and 20 times more for beans. It's also, uh, water is also essential in the industry. So this is this overconsumption of water that will lead us to the, this water war, which unfortunately has already begun. The, the water war. Type these three words in your search engine, and you will see that this is obviously leads to the World War III. This water problem is present in the entire world. Um, according to the um, Article on World Affair, written in 2013 by Brahma Shilani, they inform us that a lot of countries are dealing with this problem. And, <coughs> and um, like South Korea, Pakistan, and United Nations. And all these countries have a serious rivalry. Now, now that you have a better understanding about what happened in the world concerning water, I will explain why this is happening. Let's begin with the water pollution. It's because of this problem that a lot of water is now usable again, uh, again. I will take an example that affects everybody in this room, jeans. Um, according to an American study on blood resources written by Yusef Madri in 2013, uh, 450 million pair of jeans are sold every year on the American territory. It's about seven pair of jeans per person, whereas it's recommended to have just two or three. But before they finish up in our cupboard, they pass by various stages. First, to produce one pair of jeans, we need 300 pounds of cotton. And you, for this cotton, you need a thousand Okay, earn a liter of water. Then this um, this cotton has to be dyed a dozen times into enormous tanks, and finally these jeans have to be rinsed and washed, in, and it uses a lot of water. Secondly, I will talk about the global warming. The uh, every year uh, we we lose more and more water because of the increase of the temperature. A lot, the, the rain is getting scarce in a lot of countries. And according to the last studies, the climatologist James Hansen underlined in 2013 that this is under the high latitudes of the North Hemisphere that the rating is more max. And the gas iron of the glacier is going to lead the um, evaporation of the numerous uh, number of water. Now I will share with you solution to reduce this major problem. Uh, every year, between five and 10 people are, are dying because of the, pollution, the water pollution. Um, everyone in this room can contribute to reduce this water problem uh, with simple gestures. 
because when they tell us we have to be careful with the water, we are all too lazy to do it, and we are we, we just think it's a lot of time. But I will show you that in addition of saving water, you, you can also save your money. Um, uh, an article from the magazine The Early, written in 2014, informed us about simple action. First, rainwa rainwater harvesting. You, you can save the half of your water consumption with this, with this installation. <coughs> then, use a dishwasher because you use only 15 to 40 liters of water instead of 40 liters to 130 liters of water with hand washing. And finally, water at night. You might not know, but it helps reduce losses of water up to 10 persons. And so, so I just talk about this little, all these little actions that us adults can do, but if we want this to be effective, we have to, <coughs> this action has to become the custom. To, for this purpose and to inform about this issue, I think children have to be educated at school. For example, in the book, Conserve Water is Pretty Obvious, created for children in 2014, they learn um, to children how to read with, with stories about water. And also some workshops are created at school. Because everybody knows that you are, you, um, saving water is important, but nobody really cares about not polluting and reduce your water consumption. That's why I think it has to become something of our everyday way, way of life. Now that you, have, that you know a little more about this huge problem and how to reduce it, I will conclude. The water war is going to, to appear if you don't shut up, if you don't shut up the idea of what water. So that's why I just I first <coughs> explained all this problem concerning water wastage. And as individuals, you must act now and start to adopt all these propositions made by all the countries in the world. Now I just uh, I want you to think about about these figures. We need 150 liters of water per day, and a lot of people can't have access to water in the world. So imagine you invest your money or a little of your time in just one installation, just one, you you could save the life of one person per day. <coughs> 